This is a game about killer vending machines, and it is surprisingly terrifying. Welcome to Oddworld Smile Factory. Anyway, this game is based off of Oddworld. I don't know what that is, actually. So I actually had to look up what Oddworld was because, to be honest, I had no clue. And it turns out that it's a video game series that first came out in 1997, and they're still making new games. The latest release was Oddworld Soulstorm, which came out on literally every platform. I'm, I can't believe I've never heard of it. Anyways, this game starts off with a simple tutorial and then some backstory, which made me extremely uncomfortable. God, I, I, I kind of wish I had backstory now on what exactly Oddworld is, but I guess I'll turn off the electricity, yeah? Yeah, uh, I don't like that. Are you trying hard enough to sell your products? Vikers Labs is proud to show you the next evolution of our vending machine, Tim, the self-promoting vending machine. The only reason you've been using the stationary self -promoting vending machines vending is because machine? our brilliant oh my God. have only just had the that innovative idea of giving them wheels and a mind of their own. Instead of forcing your customers to go to your vending machine, And it has machines, wheels. Now the machine and mind of its own, that sounds like a bad idea. Make it As if that wasn't enough. These machines double as greases, using smart scanner technology to identify employees and friends of your business and proceeds to welcome them into your facility. But backers have gone a step further. By default, due to the system and its role as a greeter, it will know an intruder when it this finds This is kind of them. terrifying. Taking advantage of this, our technicians have installed a laser into the machines that will swiftly incapacitate any unauthorized personnel so you can rest easy knowing your building is in safe hands. You can't go wrong with these all-in-one appliances. Trust us on this, that is no okay. best. If you say so, go up to checkpoint and press E. E. Alright, guess that means my checkpoint saved. Well, the fact that there's a checkpoint, I feel like, means that there's a chance that I need to re reset to that checkpoint. Weapon testing. Why does a vending machine factory have weapon testing? Oh boy. Wait, it's not. There we go. How did that open up? Ah, this door. No entry. Well. I don't listen to the rules. And here is where I make a huge mistake, unknowingly letting all the defective machines roam around and hunt me. Just flipping all the levers. This might as well. Keep recalled machines on assembly line, don't activate power level or they will be deployed. Oh no! What have I done? One, three, so we should probably go to one first, yeah? We have to go to one first. So I learned very quickly the importance of saving as often as possible in this game, because it's really easy to die, especially when you're just bad. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I have to, oh dude, that's a lot that you got, you're making me do again, I'm just saying. Right here, they tell me that there's no way I'm going to escape because of their extremely complicated elevator system. Take that for what you will. And here we have our first encounter with uh, one of the vending machines. Honestly, pretty easy to avoid. Uh, although I do get extremely lucky here and end up hitting the oh, checkpoint shit. just before that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got the checkpoint though. After that, we have this section of jumping and switching levers, which took way more time than it should have, because I kept failing over and over. But we eventually get past it. Then it's just some more dodging in this area until I get killed <laughs> by this one somehow seeing me. Still confused on that. Scared the hell out of me though call bullshit on that. So now I have to do all of that again because I forgot to save. Then I actually hit the checkpoint. 
for coming into this room with just mines everywhere. Oh, what fresh hell is this? There's three levers I have to hit. First one by baiting this guy. Then just climb up the ladder, avoid him. And then miss this lever. Oh, fuck! That was absolutely terrifying, but we do all that again and finally make it to the elevator. Now, the second floor was probably the most simple, um, simply because you're just used to all the mechanics already. That being said, it was still a fun floor because you had different puzzles. And it, it didn't feel repetitive, even using the same mechanics. Oh, um, and then we get to what is my favorite and least favorite part of this whole game, spare parts. Oh, hell no. Words cannot describe just how terrifying this oh, floor you was. Oh, you um, so, bad. so I'm just gonna let the highlights speak for themselves because it, it was awful. Oh, you're moving. This just turns them all on. I'm gonna have to come back here eventually. We got three levers. So dark. Uh, they just make me walk down this hallway as much as they possibly can. <clears throat> oh! Shit, what the fuck? Why? I, I heard that behind me. I'm like, why is that? <clears throat> behind me? Oh, yep, yeah, that's why. That's why. You suck. Oh, you suck to no end. I'm checkpointing. Oh my god, turning and you just see the teeth. Something else just turned on too. Oh my god. I can't even see, it's so dark. Some maze shit going on. Try to listen out for the wheels. <laughs> oh, motherfucker! I can see it! Oh, you son of a bitch. No, 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 I think this. Oh, I'm lost. Okay. <gasps> say this level also got me pretty heated. RIP headset. I don't care that you're chasing me. I don't care. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Left here. Just go. Just go. Just go. You're almost there. Come on. Oh, you motherfucker, save. Holy shit. Master. After that, it's really just a simple chase scene that took one or two attempts and finally got to the next floor. Uh, up here, we just had a couple levers to hit, six uh, in total, just different areas. Once again, avoiding them until we get to the top floor. Now, the thing about the top floor is, well, one, we don't really have to deal with the vending machines anymore, but we do have whatever these are. Honestly, just... <laughs> With that headset reminds me of just a security guard that looks really annoyed. But we get past them, have one more run from a vending machine, till we get to the ending, which I will just let play out. Get me out of because here! It is, uh, it is something. 
Yeah, I don't believe this being the exit, personally. What's gonna screw me here? Something's going- this is gonna open this door. No. So yeah, that was Oddworld Smile Factory. Honestly, really solid fan game. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, uh, definitely be sure to check out more from me. There should be two videos on the screen right now, so maybe check out one of those. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Peace. Is that is is that it? <laughs>